Welcome to our Corpi 12 lesson. In this lesson, we are going to learn about the step motor. What is the step motor? A step motor is a very, very small motor using steps to create motor movements. How does it work? As you can see, the step motor have a lot of interfaces, but you don't need to worry about. All of them are connected directly to our Corpi, so you don't need to worry about wires or messy connections. Then, we give it a configuration, how many steps in how many seconds we want to make. One step is one movement. So for example, 60 steps is around the clock, one time. We can choose it and configure it different, different way in our CrowPy and using Python. We will see that using our script. The step motor is very important in very, very accurate movements. Unlike servos and other motors, step motor can accurately move in which direction we need it to be and how many steps it needs to take. So, how it works? Let's go to our CrowPi and take a look. Hi, we're back to our CrowPi. <clears throat> Let's take a look at our step motor. The step motor is right here. It's included with every CrowPi version. Now, where are we going to connect it? On our CrowPi, we have our step motor interface right here. First, we'll need to take the cable of the step motor and then connect it right into the interface. Make sure you are connecting at the right direction to prevent any failure. Probably not this one. Let's try the other direction around. Yeah, that's right. So, after we connect it, it cannot write out of the box. To make it work, we need to turn on the right switch. Let's turn it all up till the end. To make sure it works successfully, the LED right next to the step motor should light up. Afterwards, let's go into our CrowPi folder and find the code called stepmotor.py right here. Open it with our Python IDE and let's go step by step looking at the code and trying to understand how it works. So, the first thing we can mention is we import the time library as we talked before and also the GPIO library to control the GPIO pins. The step motor have a lot of GPIO pins. One, two, three, four, four pins. We also need to set up the interval for how long we want to send the request. We set it to 0 0.010. You can play with the interval. It will affect the speed of the step motor. We set up the mode of the GPIO into GPIO board. As we said, you can also use GPIO BCM, but for all our lessons and for convenience, we use G board. Now, we set up all the pins to GPIO out as we send output signal into the step motor pins. And then we test the pins, we send output false, meaning we set them all to GPIO low. After setting them all to GPIO low, we have a lot of functions. Step 1, step 2, step 3, step 4. All of them will be run one by one and give the step motor commands on how to turn around. The main function we're going to use is in the main, as you see, def main. Now, let's take a look at this one. First, we start, we start moving, so we print moving started. Then we set up the step motor object into the motor. And then we do one step, turn steps one. And then we do 20 steps, turn steps 20. You remember, every step is a turn. You can decide how many turns you want by deciding how many steps to put inside. So you can put 20, 30, even 500. You can play around with it to understand how many steps you want. Not only steps, we can also turn it by degree. So for example, you can set motor dot turn degrees 90 and the motor will turn 90 degrees around. Now, let's take a look how does it work. We click the green button to execute the code. After executing it, you will see the LED start blinking and the motor, if you hold it in your hands, will start turning around very slowly. It will run the code one by one. So for example, now it will do a quarter turn and it will stop. That's it. Try to play with the turns, set up your own variables, put 20, 30 or even 50 and see what happens. Hope to see what you're going to do with our step motor and see you in our next lesson.